That's okay, so I'm trying this. It looks like this. This is from Trader Joe's, and it's some kind of new, it's fresh. It's in the fresh section, right? Where is it? Oh, Chris is gonna be really nice and get it. Run, Chris, hurry. Hurry, Chris. Oh, you you ate all of them? There's two. Protein patties. There's only two? Yes. So these are vegan, but I heard through Sorn that these taste like beef, and Tyler just agreed with it. It smells like a Whopper. It tastes like the texture. The texture and the taste. Like when you rip it apart, it's like ripping meat. I don't know if this would trick me. Maybe it would. But like for a vegan product, it's thick. Oh yeah, no. For it's got a weird aftertaste. What did you didn't get one? Do you think oh, did you like, did you do Brussels sprouts? Sure. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> That's a really big piece. Mm-hmm. That like tastes like a whopper. Much Hello guys. I'm doing a poor job vlogging this week, but guess who I'm with? Can you guess? Who did you guess? There's really only like three different people that I hang out with. Okay, are you done guessing? Okay, ready? Dun dun oh dun, dun, dun 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 <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for it to be like that. <laughs> I'm with Amy. Um, we're at Mellow's right now. She got chicken parmesan and pasta, it looks like. Yeah. And broccolini. It's actually. I was trying to get salmon, and then they didn't have it, and so then last minute I changed to this. This is a thin crust pizza. It has prosciutto. This looks like basil, Can gorgonzola. You say what's an accent, please? No, gorgonzola and fig jam. So it's, it's actually pretty good. I don't think Where's I can eat this whole thing. Jam? It's the liquid. Oh, like, oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. I see it. I see it's just liquid. So there you go. There you go. So we planned to meet up for dinner, and the whole point was we were supposed to meet up. It's Wednesday, and we we're supposed to go to Dave and Buster's to play half off games. And somebody just said that they're tired. And they don't think they're gonna be able to make it to the second part of this dinner date. <laughs> Can you guess who it is? Hi. Hello. So I'm. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. That's what my English accent is. Hi. Hello. Your American English accent. Uh, so I'm gonna go to Dave Buster's by myself. It's eight something. If I get there by eight thirty, I'll have three and a half hours to play. If I want to play for three and a half hours, I don't have to. That's what. That's what orange all candy. That's what all addicts say. I can stop when I want. I'm hanging up now. Okay, I'm at Dave and Buster's. I'm not gonna stay too long though. Boom, 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 bam. I haven't been here in probably like two months actually. It's crazy. Almost two months. Okay, they're checking to see if they still have one in stock. They had one, I don't know how many people win iPads, but I don't know, I'm just gonna check, and so we'll see. Okay guys, I just got in the car. I probably should lock my doors. No one's gonna attack me up here. You guys, look at this beauty. Oh, you can't see it. Oh my gosh. Look at this, Amy. You can't see it. Amy, this is amazing. This is a iPad Pro, 12.9 inch Wi-Fi, 64 gigabyte. That's not too shabby. It's worth about a thousand, a little bit less than a thousand. It costs 300,000 tickets. So in theory, that's actually a pretty good deal because for like the video game systems, it's a hundred thousand tickets and they're about $300 each. So for that iPad, it's like in the 900s to a thousand, I think. I don't really remember. So it's, it's on point with the price point, you know? Um, so I freaking got it. I'm so excited. And Amy's really excited for me too, right Amy? Right, yeah, yeah. And we got we got best friend pillows here. Uh, oh, oh, geez, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so I ended up getting the sloth best friend pillows. I get to keep them with two eyes, and Amy's taking them with one eye because she's the one who sides hug me. What? She side hugs me, and I go. Yeah. Like that. Exactly. And then I also got my neoprene pouch. Woo! Okay. I'm going home. I'm so excited. Good morning, everyone. Um, today is what day is today? What day is today? Thursday. Thursday. Today's Thursday, and it's Chris's birthday. Happy birthday! So, in honor of her birthday, 
Do we even have, oh yeah, look. I made us hash browns. What's your favorite color? Oh, let, let me look at these. I like the, I, I like the. Teal? Um, there's no teal. What? Where's the teal one? Right here. I like that one, that's the one, I like that one. Okay. Do you have a preference on which one you want? Probably the bigger one. I want that one. Okay. This is so oh. good. <laughs> this... <laughs> Where's the lighter thing? Lighter. Where oh, maybe you? it's in this one. Our drawers are. A little. Oh, here it is. Okay. No, that's a thermometer. Here it is. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I hope this doesn't turn the fire thing on. Well. <laughs> oh, I hope the candle doesn't fall. Happy birthday to you. My better turn a happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chris. Happy birthday to you. Yay! She's one years old! Woohoo! Woo okay. Bye, well, now my battery's running out, so end of video. But now we get to enjoy hash browns, so I'm excited. Hash brown, thanks. Hello. It's. What day is today? Friday. Friday. Sorn has been making his special hot sauce. For any of you guys who live in the Bay Area, if you've been to, what is it called, La Vix? La Vix. La Vix in San Jose, they make this orange sauce, and Soren really liked it, so he found a copycat recipe on the internet, and yes, and it's delicious. It's not the same, this one's actually called Sorin sauce, it's not, so it's not the same. Because Soren actually, he um, puts other things in it, like love. And different, different, different ingredients. ingredients. Secret ingredients. Dun, dun, dun. Actually, you don't really use the same ingredients, technically. I don't. Verdict is out. I got my my new ID card in the mail, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to look like this in the picture. Because I thought I couldn't open my mouth when I smiled, but I don't think that's an actual thing for your driver's license. I think it's for your passport. <sighs> so we'll see. We'll see what this looks like. Oh my god, I look angry. I look oh, mad god. at the world. That doesn't even look like me. No, you don't look mad at the world. You're I look fine. pretty mad at the world. You look very neutral. <laughs> I look pretty mad at the world. Soren made dinner. Hey guys, it's uh, it's Sunday, and it's Super Bowl Sunday. I'm so it's super windy outside. It's so crazy. The wind's been so strong all morning. Um, it's actually not morning anymore. It's afternoon. It's 1:30. Game starts at 3:30. I'm so nervous for the game. I just <sighs> don't even want to talk about it. But I'm gonna. Um, I had to do some work stuff, so I did that. And uh, Lilo and I are chillaxing. I think I'm gonna take a quick nap because I'm a little bit tired. Uh, I've been up on and off since like six in the morning, so I think I'm gonna take a nap and just like relax my mind a little bit. And then we have the Niners game, and I just don't. <sighs> I haven't been talking about it a lot because I, I get very superstitious. I'm still very superstitious. I just don't want to jinx anything. Okay, well, I'm going to take a quick nap. I do want to show you later today, though. Um, I moved Max cat tree, the one that was in the bathroom. I moved it downstairs, and he was hanging out on it and looking outside the window. So hopefully he'll use it. I'll keep an eye on that and see because that would be cool when he's hanging out downstairs for him to have, like, his own little space to go on, you know? Especially since Lilo has been totally, totally just like hogging his face. I woke up this morning at, it was like 6.30 and I'm like, I woke up and Lilo was there. And I was like, oh, hey Lilo. And Mac was under the bed, so he wasn't very happy about that. And I also put the collar back on him, so he's also not happy about that either. You know, Mac is like grumpy cat. He just doesn't look grumpy. He looks angry. Like angry cat, I think is is really what what he should be called is angry cat okay let's take a quick nap do you like my shirt it's my cat shirt my cat shirt with sunglasses yes
a swearing in ceremony for the police. We brought the Kanto down. Don't look so mad. All right, our lights have to go down because they're about to turn them up on the field. When we come back, Jeff Lee is going to be on the field. Security has been called out to 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 the field. Security has been called out we just scored, there's like two minutes left. Uh -huh. And we're flossing, we're all flossing. Cause you should floss. That's Chris's, uh, I'm watching all of the, uh, all of the uh, commercial face. She takes it very seriously. God, I'm so mad right now, you guys. The game just ended, the Niners lost, and I'm angry. Ugh, it's so stupid. I know it happens, you know, I'm glad that we have a good team and hopefully this isn't like the last time we went to the Super Bowl, it was kind of like a fluke where we had like a good team for one season really and then it kind of just fell apart, but man, that's rough. So rough, man. Ah, dang it. It's hard to lose the Super Bowl. I mean, it's hard to lose any time, but definitely in the Super Bowl. That's the worst. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to be sad. A little bit sad. Okay. Well, my Amazon packages came today, so that's a plus. I got these pretzels. My dad went on a business trip this past week. He said he went to Buffalo. These were made in North Dakota, but he had these dot pretzels, and he was claiming that they were delicious. So we're going to open them and try them. Do, do, do. Oh, that was a, that was a, Lilo. I just wanted it to be more suspenseful. Yeah. Lilo, okay. get down. Mm -hmm. How do they smell? Oh, they smell kind of sweet. Mm. They smell that, buttery. Sweet I think pretzels? better be salty. Oh, sweet. isn't that what they make on the... Sweet pretzels? They're like super buttery. Yeah, there's no sweet ingredients. Those are pretty good. It's buttery. They're like the popcorn of pretzels. Yeah, the they're, popcorn like, of pretzels. they're like popcorn pretzels. Okay. I can see why my dad liked these. Yeah. These are better than normal pretzels. I would for take sure. these to the movie theater. Mmm, yeah. Do you guys want to try it? Try some, Lola. Try it. Yeah, try it, Lola. Don't be scared, Lola. It's like butter pretzels. <laughs> There's no alcohol. This is like the paste that they put it on the mix, trail mix. Isn't it? Like the sourdough bread milk, isn't it? The Chex Mix? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's similar to Chex Mix flavor. Yeah. Oh, Very bready. Too, it's good. Very bready. What do you mean bready? Pretzels are bready. Oh. You That's mean right. more bready than normal pretzels? Yeah. Maybe because it's like two pretzels. I'm scared. Lolo, do you want to try yes, um, a pretzel? No, thank you. Are you sure? Come on, Lola. I'm stuck. Okay, okay. He's busy gambling. I ate the, I ate the last uh, sure. rack of ribs. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> They're pretty good. They're pretty good. I don't really like pretzels, but I would eat pretzels that have seasoning on them, so. Yeah. These are good. Okay, I'm still super disappointed that the morning air is lost. But one of the good things, I guess the other good thing, or the one good thing I can take from today is I got my memory foam topper. I don't know if I talked a lot about this, but my new bed, so you guys know when I first moved into my house, I slept on air mattresses for like, actually for like almost a year. The first air mattress I slept on was my favorite one. It was so comfortable and it lasted for eight months. And then I went through like five of their air mattresses and then I was like, okay, I should just buy another bed. And so um, I got this, memory foam bed you guys remember it from amazon and it's great but it's a little bit firm for me um i've, I've read about memory foam beds kind of being like that like that's a normal thing and so and i figured this was going to be the case when i bought this bed after reading the reviews it's like okay well if it's too firm for me then i'll buy a topper at some point and so i kind of stuck it out but 
yeah, lately I've just been like, it's a little bit too firm. I thought I could kind of figure it out, but I'm very adaptable. I was like, no, you should try to get a memory foam topper. So I have actually always used toppers, probably for the past like almost 15 years, actually. Probably like 13 years, 14 years. I have used a memory foam topper on top of my bed. And so I got this one from Amazon. This is the Lucid brand. They make mattresses as well. I don't think this is the brand that made my mattress, I don't remember. This one's lavender infused, I got the three inch memory foam. I did a lot of research, but, and it just seemed like like all of the toppers, there were pros and cons, and I just decided to go with this one. It had really good reviews, you know, I read all the cons, like, you know, a lot of the cons for um, memory foam toppers is that they start to tear, and I just feel like that's a normal thing with memory foam toppers, especially the soft ones. Um, I went with three inches because I know four inches is too soft for me. I've done that before. It was too much. But two inches always seems like not enough, and so I went with three inches. So hopefully this will work out. So I'm going to open it up, and uh, you're supposed to usually let these things sit for like three days, but I'm going to open it up and let it sit for right now and then I want to use it because yeah um, I think I'm gonna take my 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 sheet off you you know what I used to do my old mattress when I had a regular mattress it was like a thick mattress I had a sheet on the mattress and then I put I had four inches of memory foam and I put a sheet over the four inches of memory foam so there's two different sheets but I think with this bed hmm I wonder if I have to do that still actually because this mattress is 10 inches that would be 14 inches. I don't know if this, I don't think this um, sheet that I'm using, that I got on Amazon as well, I don't think that it will be able to work with that. I'm not sure. Maybe I should open it up and just see. Okay, I'm gonna open it up and see first. I would say this is the best part of these things is like when you cut these bad boys open and the air hits them, but I don't know how good this one's gonna actually be. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> it's gonna have to fluff up. I don't think this is gonna be ready to go by tonight, but I'm gonna pray that it is. I'm gonna fluff it a little bit. I think I'm gonna rotate my mattress too, because it's been about six months, I think-ish, since I've gotten it. Man, not, not yet, not yet actually. I don't remember when I bought it, but yeah, there it is. It smells really nice. It smells heavily of lavender and I like that. All right, I take it back. It actually, fluffed up kind of nicely there's some areas that are gonna need a little bit more time but like this area is all full look at this iconic memory foam handprint yes all right i'm impressed uh other than a couple areas which i think these will fix themselves shortly this thing is pretty much all fluffed up there's a few like areas on the side right here but other than that it kind of did its thing this looks about three inches Maybe a little bit less, but that's okay. And yeah, it's really nice. <sighs> I tested my sheets. I had a, a sheet, this like white sheet that like keeps liquids from falling into the bed. And then I had a sheet on top of it. And I think they're both gonna fit even with this additional three inches. Cause that's like 13 inches total. That should be fine. The only thing I don't know if it's gonna work is when I raise my bed up and down, but we'll see. 